from me, Laura, from Lauren and the Books. Oh, I do another reading vlog this weekend. Last time I did a reading vlog, David was away for the weekend. Um, and I really enjoyed doing it. And it made me talk about my reading, and I like doing that. Um, so I thought, as it's a bank holiday weekend this weekend, and um, although David and I have got plans, we've also, um, I'm hoping to get quite a lot of reading done, I thought, why not do a bank holiday weekend? So, as you may well know, it's Friday evening, I'm just home. David is at a friend's house, he's recording an episode of a podcast tonight at his friend's house, it's a podcast called Movie Drone, um, I'll link it down below if you want to go and check it out. So, I've just got home, my dad brought me home from work, um, and then on the way home I popped into Morrison's. Oh, I tell you, let me show you the squash I got, it sounds exciting. I got this squash, pear, blackcurrant and cherry, nice. So I'm quite looking forward to, to having a bit of that, but... What I'm just doing now, I'm just making myself a cup of tea and then I'm going to get in the bath um, and I'm going to read in the bath, um, which will be lovely with a cup of tea and a nice bath bomb. Um, but I thought I'd just show you the, I've just got home and there was a book, bit of book post um, in the post box for me, which I'm very excited about. This is Perfectly Preventable Deaths by Deirdre Sullivan. It's published by Hockey Books and they were kind enough to send it to me. This is the proof copy so the front cover will not look like this. I am so excited about this. This is YA, like YA witchcraft stuff. And there's a, um, there's a quote at the top. It says, it's a tale of rural horror, family and peril. It's the Irish Gothic we deserve. Ah, So yeah, that sounds super exciting. So hopefully I will start that at some point this weekend. And it's about two 15 year old twins who move to a new life in Ballyfran, a strange isolated Irish town. A place where the earth is littered with small corpses and unspoken truths. It sounds like it's going to be like beautifully written as well as being like quite successful because of YA. And I love books set in Ireland and I love things about witchcraft and stuff. Those really remind me of like when I used to read when I was younger. Um, so yeah, so I expect I'll pick that up at some point over the weekend. It's not out until the 13th of June, so it'd be nice to get ahead of the game. Get your head in the game. Um, so yeah, so I'm about to go and have my bath. But, but every time I turn, the lighting goes. Why can't you just stay bright on me? Um, so yeah, make this cup of tea. Finish making this cup of tea. Take it into the bath. Pick a bath bomb. Do you come with me? Go on. Fast running, which is why I'm shouting. Um, but I've just got it. David's mum, I'm not going to get fully undressed while I'm on camera. David's mum got us a selection of bath bombs for um, Easter, which was lovely. Um, one of which being this big, massive egg, which has like a little baby dinosaur inside. I'll show you the baby dinosaur one. It's split into two, so I'm going to use one of these halves. Not quite sure what the scent is, but it's absolutely delicious. But she also gave us honey I washed the kids, which I've already used. This little guy, he's cute. And then this is half of a peppermint egg, which I've used half of as well. Bubble bath. Really like the yard bubble bath. But yeah, bath, bath all the time. I've got my cup of tea. And I'm going to be reading Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. I need to have this red, which actually, when I picked up the book, I was like, no bother, I'll have that red no time. Um, in time for my book club, which is not this Monday, because it's Bank Holiday Monday, but the following Monday, the 14th. But I've been reading this for like three days now, and I'm only on page 82. <laughs> it's really, really small font, and the, the, um, it really fills the pages. But yeah, I saw the um, film adaptation of this last year, when David and I were in Chroma for his birthday, and, and I really liked it. And we were doing, um, the, the genre at work was, for, for my book club was um, uh, book to film adaptations, and this one won, so I give two options, and then um, people pick from that. So yeah, but um, no, they're just getting to Singapore now. Um, but yeah, it follows a group of like young, but also like all ages, I guess, like affluent Asians um, who sort of travel the world and have loads of money and spend loads of money and stuff. And it's um, the main thread throughout it is, uh, I don't know why I'm even telling you this, many people will know the, the, uh, the storyline of this. Uh, you follow Rachel, who's become newly engaged to Nick, um, who is part of this affluent group. Um, and Rachel is a professor at a, a university in, um, New York and this is a new lifestyle for her so yeah so I'm gonna get in the bath now and have a little read got a cup of tea um, and have a little bit of bath bomb let me show you the little dinosaur in the middle of the egg though because it's so cute in my jammies. Soon I'm gonna have to retire these jammies for summer months. Although, for here, you know, it's May here in the UK now. 
I mean, it's May everywhere. And normally, May is like warm. I've got a few friends who have birthdays in April and my sister's birthday's in May. And ordinarily, we're barbecuing and out having a lovely time for those uh, birthdays. But none of that is happening. It's just not great weather. Um, it's actually currently tipping it down. My hair's still quite good, isn't it, from the, uh, the old Tommy yesterday. Um, I'm just about to make dinner. So dinner is leftovers from last night. I made a massive ratatouille last night. Um, you would have seen if you'd have seen it on my Instagram stories. Um, and it was like four portions. So I had a portion for dinner last night. Me and David both had a portion for lunch today. And then I'm having it for dinner tonight. But I also went and bought lowbrow, but my favourite, garlic bread. I just get thinking about it all the bloody time. And I'm gonna have a bit, a bit of pasta as well because it's not actually um, that much ratatouille. So I'm gonna have that with pasta. Pasta, garlic bread, and then I'm gonna have some of my squash. And then I'll sit and read for a bit. Um, I really, in order to get this finished by the weekend, so I'm on page 106, so in order to get this finished by the weekend, I need to be reading like 100 pages a day. It's like 403, 403 pages. Well done, good guess. Um, so yeah, I need to be on like 100 pages today. So I'm gonna go and read a little bit more of that um, and then maybe watch something on Dele. Um, I'm hoping David will be back by about 10 o'clock tonight because um, he's been away all week. So I've barely seen him. He got back at like half past 11 last night um, and we were both super tired. So I haven't seen him properly, so it'll be nice. And also, I just wanna watch some RuPaul's Drag Race. Why isn't he here? Because we started watching that together. We can't watch that together if he's not here. So that's the plan for the evening. I'm gonna get my dinner together now. You don't need to watch me do that. It's basically put something in the oven, put something in the microwave, put something else in the microwave. Don't watch me do that. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in a bit. So dinner's just finishing up and I can hear the microwave eating up my ratatouille right now. Um, and I've just started, as I was getting dinner ready, I started watching the, I mean, I'm late to the party, but I started watching Eric's video uh, of the uh, Women's Prize 2019 shortlist predictions with Anna. It's over an hour long um, and I'm four minutes in. Um, so I think I'm gonna watch that while I'm eating. Um, I saw both of them at the Women's Prize party and the shortlist is out. So I do know their thoughts, but I'd be very interested to watch it. Um, and then I'm gonna watch their shortlist reactions, even though, again, I've spoken to both of them about their reactions um but yeah very much enjoy watching those two together so that's what i'm going to do while i eat my dinner um yeah that's it been reading a little bit more of uh, crazy rich asians um so yeah friday night party hi guys so dinner was delicious it really was delicious actually. And I watched um, Anna and Eric's video um, on Eric's channel about their, what they thought they was gonna be on the shortlist and then their reaction and I enjoyed them both very much. Similar similar feelings actually between us. Um, and now I'm just in bed, got myself a cup of tea. It's quite early actually. Well, it's, it's 10 o'clock, which is early for a Friday night. I don't know what time David's coming back. He hasn't texted me yet. Um, so I think he's still recording the podcast. So just in bed now i'm uh, gonna do a bit of reading um still obviously on the old uh, crazy rich asians um so yeah gonna chip into this as much as i can um and i guess i'll see you in the morning night guys Saturday. I've got a hot on it. Hey, Eagles, because it didn't get cold. You're really hot. Yeah. That's why I might be good temperature now. Um, it's Saturday and um, we're here having a little breakfast. Orange juice, teas, mushroom and sourdough omelette. And yeah, happy Saturday. How are you, David? I'm good, thank you. How's your podcast day today? Very good, thank you. Is that cold? No, it's fine. It's a little bit cold around the edges. Um, we're just going to have a little bit of a read. I'm going to do... Oh, before I show you that, let me show you what I've got in the post this morning. You will know. I Love Normal People by Sally Rooney. One of my favourite books of last year. And this morning, the rickshaw at Favour, sweetheart, sent me this lovely little pin. Focus in on it, mate. There we go, look. It's a Normal People pin. I'm so happy. I'm going to wear it today. Um, so that's very exciting. But anyway, I am reading, David got me this for Christmas, Power to the Princess. 15 favourite fairy tales retold with girl power. I read two last night. Now I'm gonna read Rapunzel. I'm probably gonna read two actually. Probably gonna read Rapunzel and the Snow Queen. Very, very much enjoyed Rapunzel. 
separate story, the Snow Queen. Very much enjoying these. I feel like they're very diverse, great representation. Already had a lesbian Little Mermaid, so I'm happy about that. David's got a bit of egg in his beard. Um, so yeah, very much enjoying this. So well done, David. Why, why did you buy this for me? Go. It's gone. Why um, did you buy this? Because you like, because you're a princess <laughs> and you're powerful. Yeah. No, Where uh, did you see it? What did I see it? Um, I saw it in, um, what's the the big one in London? Foils. Foils. Yeah. Yeah, so I thought I'd get it for you. Oh. So I thought it's the kind of book that you like. Yeah. Because it's about powerful women, and you like powerful women, I like powerful women, we should all like powerful women. <laughs> and that is the message for today. So that's what I'm going to be reading. David, what are you reading? I'm uh, cracking on with Nevermore. <laughs> How are you finding it? I like it. It's good. I'm over 100 pages, so well I'm doing well. And you like it very much? I do like it very Who's well. Who's your favourite? Um, I've forgotten some of the names already. Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter and... Fenestra. Fenestra. The Magic Cat. Big Cat. Big Cat. So yeah, so that's that for now. Hmm. Let's get on with that. Just came in and found this little party going on. David, why are you pretending to be asleep? Don't pretend it, I'm trying to go to sleep. <laughs> Why? Because. Minnie. Hello, beauty. We're all dressed and ready to go. Look at that little guy over there. Um, we're just going to head, I've got to take some books back to the library. We've got to go to the shops and buy some food. Uh, we're going to a barbecue at a friend's house tomorrow. Um, he is putting a lot of effort into this barbecue. Um, but I don't eat the meats on the barbecue, so I'm going to make something to take along. Um, so I'm going to make this, which I've had before, which doesn't look that exciting, but it really is delicious. It's aubergine with tomatoes, harissa and almonds, which I'm very excited about. And then David and I, for dinner tonight, are having all-in-one sticky rice with broccoli, squash, chilli and ginger. Um, again, out of the green roast tin tin. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're about to do. We're about to go to the shops and get a few things like that. And then we're going to come back here um, and, uh, yeah. Get on with the day. Back from Tesco's. I'm doing some DIY, guys. Imagine. Um, this door um, has been bloody sticking for ages. Like, when you open and shut the, the door, the door, it sticks so much. So I've taken everything off. Um, WD-40 did it, which I got from my dad. And now I'm just putting it all together. So while I'm going to do that, I'm going to be listening to a bit of my audio book. But I just thought I'd update you. I'm just down here on uh, what, what I've got. Um, so we just went to... We just went to um, Aldi and Tesco's. Yes, yes. So happy when something works. Uh, we went to Aldi and Tesco's um, to get uh, some bits for tonight for dinner and for um, going to our friends for a barbecue tomorrow. David's making some cornbread um, and I'm gonna make, oh, I've already shown you what I'm making. So yes, yeah, so we just did that and popped to the library as I had some books to return. I also had um, fresh water to pick up, which was on the women's prize long list, but I'm not, I'm, I've read the shortlist now, um, and Freshwater, although it was one that I was interested in, I was not like super interested to read it, so I've actually uh, returned it, but yeah, so that's how things are going. David was unable to get polenta, so he has continued his journey now to a Sainsbury's in order to get polenta. I haven't got the right bloody screwdriver for this, so it's taken ages. Um, but yeah, so I just thought I'd uh, update you of how it's going, and I'm going to listen to a bit of my audio, but the audio book I'm listening to is um, The Five um, by Hayley... It's Rubenfield. Um, she has written a book. It's amazing. It's a non-fiction book about uh, the five women who were killed by uh, Jack the Ripper um, and their lives. And I've really been... Oh, sorry, this is so creaky. It's narrated by Lynn Louise Brealey, who is Molly from um, uh, Sherlock, the BBC adaptation with Benedict Cumberbatch and my bae, Andrew Scott, and my other bae, Martin Freeman, all the bays. Um and she does a really good job. So it's a non-fiction book about these women and their lives. And I've listened to the first two, which is, uh, follow the lives of Polly and Annie. Um, and they're like, from, from like when, from when they were born and things like that and everything they went through. And it's got really good historical tips. God, my knees are killing me. Really good hist um, history about um, what's going on in Victorian times and stuff. And I've just been really, really loving it. Like, I love it when I get an audio book that I'm looking forward to being on my own or, or being somewhere that I can listen to it and that is how I feel about this one so yeah I'm going to listen a bit to a bit of that um, and carry on fixing my door where's my phone down here I'm going to put it on now master's ear and his respect and with this the divide of the classes might be slightly breached a stud groom I fixed it Hi, welcome 
welcome to Sunday. I have got clothes. Well, I haven't got clothes. I've got a towel around me. I'm aware I look naked. Um, today is a barbecue day. I may have previously mentioned David and I are going to a friend's house for a barbecue. Um, and David is currently making cornbread in the kitchen and having a wonderful time. Um, I am then going to go on and make something. But um, I'm just drying my hair at the moment. Uh, before I got a head on round to my sister's, she bought me, she kindly picked me up a foundation yesterday. I use this foundation, uh, Urban Decay All Nighter, um, which is cruelty free. I use it in the shade 2.5, however, they didn't have a 2.5 yesterday, so I've had to ask her to get me a 2.0, and I'm going to warm it up with, um, with some like bronzers and things like that so yeah that's what I use quite a few people ask me what I use this is what I use uh, it does last quite a long time as well because you don't need much and I apply it using a very dirty but lovely sponge <laughs> um, but yes I'm just drying my hair and reading Power to the Princess um, which I am now on the story Elizabeth and the Wild Swans which is a story I did not know about um, so I'm quite enjoying reading that yeah this is so cute and it's really nice to be able to pick up what I like when I'm when I'm drying my hair <laughs> It's a lot of people when I mentioned about how I um, read when I'm doing my hair and stuff. Um, I like a book that falls open um, so you can just read it. So quite often if I've got like a big floppy proof, um, they fall open. But big like, picture books and um, children's books often do that as well. So uh, I, I am forever reading even when drying my hair and doing tasks like that. So uh, that's what I'm doing at the moment before I'm going to get on with some cooking and maybe walk around to my sister's to pick up my foundation. So happy Sunday, everybody. Hi. <laughs> It's, we are back from the barbecue. I haven't vlogged much today at all because, as I said, this is, oh god, I'm taking my makeup off with Ultra Blend, and there is nothing more luxurious than taking your makeup off with Ultra Blend. Um, I, yeah, I guess this is a reading vlog, and because not much reading's been done today, I haven't really vlogged anything. We went to a lovely barbecue at my friend Adam's house. Um, they, Adam has a smoker um, to smoke meat and stuff. And they'd been up since, well, they hadn't slept last night. They'd, ch they'd added wood to the smoker every 25 minutes since 9 o'clock last night. So they'd really put some effort in. Obviously, I didn't eat the meat, um, but David did. And he said it was lovely and well worth the, uh, well worth the effort. Um, but it was really nice. They had, like, I'd made a little dish to take with me. And then there was macaroni cheese and coleslaw and salad and stuff like that. So that was nice. David's had a few beers. Now he's in bed bit drunk um and he's probably gonna snore i've just dropped my towel down there he's probably gonna snore quite a lot um i have to put my tap on to warm it up so i can remove this off my face so there he, he is on standby to evacuate to the to the spare room if needed so yeah um tomorrow is monday i'm doing a um uh treasure hunt for my sister's birthday it's my sister's 30th birthday this week and i'm doing a treasure hunt with some of her friends and our family and yeah um, I'm quite looking forward to doing that so I've got to be up not really early but like early-ish um, to get prepared for that and then we're at a barbecue at my mum and dad's a bit later on so there might well not be much of an opportunity for reading then as well however when I'm doing the treasure hunt I'm going to take a book down to the beach with me um, and read there and I might even start a new one um, so yeah so I'll be back tomorrow with treasure hunt reading night say night David night night Hello, <laughs> I'm at the beach. Um, it's my sister's birthday today and we've done a uh, treasure hunt for her. And I'm going to be reading Perfectly Preventable Deaths by Deirdre Sullivan whilst I'm waiting for them to send me photos of the locations that I've hidden stickers in. Am I the best sister ever? Probably. 